Well played. Next match, Marsons and Scott Athletic against Sugden's United. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. See you in the final then. Yeah, have to get there. <laughs> Shouldn't you be out there? No, fat Pedro's refereeing next match. I don't think he is. Oh, great. Go on, ref. Good luck. <sighs> On purpose. So you're applying for that job on purpose. I'm doing it for us. Oh, this has got to be faxed off today. Surprised you're prepared to trust me. Meaning? Leaving me here on my own with the likes of Sid and Scott or any other young fella that might come my way. Is that supposed to be a threat? Just saying, Marlon. I'm not the best old virgin. Trish, I know you're upset. I know you've asked me not to do this. I didn't ask you, Marlon. I told you. But I. I'm planning for our future. This is too good an opportunity to miss. You can see that, can't you? Doesn't seem to matter what I think, does it? Come on, Jack! 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 Come on, Come on, Come away, death, and in sad Cyprus let me be laid. Fly away, fly away, breath. I am slain by a fair cruel maid. I am slain by a fair cruel maid. My shroud of white stuck all with you. Oh, yes, Scott, Scott's a good player, you know, my Scott. She's at it again. Oh. Can't you shut her up? You didn't tell me we was going to be wasting the whole afternoon. Come on, Scott. Come on, Ollie. Can't you see we're one game away from Gory? Come on, Scott. They bet you they're higher. Some people pay £30 to watch football. They must be tapped. Oh, you don't have to tell me. Ronnie and the boys spend half their lives in front of the telly screaming obscenities. I was spared that. It was just me and our Bernice. She wasn't sporty. And what about her dad? Rodney. His favourite sport was chasing young barmaids. How did you cope with that? I didn't. He slung his hook. Happy families aren't my forte. You're lucky. <laughs> it's not all sweetness and light, believe me. Hey, do you fancy a coffee? Oh, don't worry. Got me on. I am slain by a fair crew made my shroud of white. Ooh. It's a bit early in the day for that, isn't it? Medicinal keeps the chill. <laughs> chill. It's hardly midwinter. You don't want your coffee spicing up, then? I won't tell if you don't. Oh, go on, then. <laughs> My shroud of white stuck all with you. Come on, Marsden, <laughs> push it up! Oh, I'll tell you, they're a bit tasty, these Marsdens. Yeah, we can beat them. Oh, really taking it so serious. Push it about a bit. It's when I play a game, I like to win. Come on, Ronnie. Come on, Ellie. Edna, come on, I know you're in there. Can I help you? Oh, hello, Edna, love. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, I brought you an Easter egg. I don't care for chocolate. Oh, well, all the more for me then, eh? <laughs> uh, are you not going to invite me in? I'm rather busy this afternoon. Doing what? Thank you for calling. Uh, it's uh, very much appreciated. Uh, no. meant sticking together. It does. It, it absolutely does, but it also means providing for our family. I'm going to miss you just as much as you miss me, but how else are we ever going to get a crack at this kind of money? Well, it's not as if we'll have enough to retire to the south of France. It'll be a start, though. A start? Why, what else you got planned? A year on a cruise ship? Two years in Saudi Arabia? There is a reason why those jobs pay lots of money. It's the only way they can get people to sacrifice their lives to do them. It's only for six months. For six months is a lifetime. What well, if you get used to not being with me? It'll never happen. Absence makes the art grow fonder. Oh, it didn't the last time we were apart. This, this is different. It's part of a universal plan. I don't want you to go, Marlon. I need you here with me. I need your head on my pillow when I wake up. I need that too. Yeah? Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. And Ali, you're on the bench. What? I've just got an average. You've all not had a full game yet. Mm. Elaine can be sub. I've already been sub. Scott! Hey, uh, you can't mess with the midfield general now. Oh, come on.
on, Dad. I've earned my place in the final. I'll bring you on at half time if we're struggling. Well, have you put him up to this? No, why would I want to do that? Rotation. Hey, Terry can't referee the final as well. Look at him, poor little poppy. <sighs> Don't fuss, love. It's only one more game. Don't worry, I've got the ambulance standing by just in case. Ha, ha, ha. Young lady, I do not take kindly to being branded a cheat. It's not just me. I'm speaking on behalf of the whole team. Hey, 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 hey. What's the problem here? I was just complaining about my lucky gloves. Lucky? They're only lucky because they fill half the goal. Yeah, it's got a point. Fat Pedro didn't have a problem with them. I'm not Fat Pedro. Get them off. You have incurred my wrath. I hope you realise that. I'm all a quiver. Right, come on, let's get on with it. <laughs> Well, right then, I'll take that southern well, soft this got. Come on. Come on I'll let you take your lead. Yeah, you're going to get some, you. <laughs> Who's going to take Big Ron? He's mine. Are you shaking hands? Yeah, I think so. He's not happy with you. Oh, being a mother isn't a popularity contest. I knew what was going wrong somewhere. <laughs> More brandy? <laughs> Go on, you know you want to. <laughs> right. Good luck. Cheers. You're going to need it. <laughs> Come on, cheer up. It's only a game. It's three games, actually. Yeah, we lost two of them. <laughs> we won first match against St Mary's Dinner Ladies. And you're still letting a soft goal. Yeah, he did his best. Which is more than you managed. Hey, you don't have a go at her. Well, she flinched every time the ball came near her. Yeah, but she's a girl. Oi! I'm trying to defend you here. I didn't see you scoring any goals. Well, I would have if you knew how to pass the ball. Will you shut up? I only volunteered us because I thought it would be a bit of fun. I wish I hadn't bothered. So do we. What can I get you, Mrs Eggleton? Uh, nothing, thanks, love. It's the vicar I'm after. Oh, what's the problem? <sighs> Edna. Is she poorly? She hasn't been in for her crumpets and she always gets six crumpets on a Sunday. No, it's not crumpets she's ailing for. I went round to offer a solace, and she were too shamefaced to let me through that door. What did you say to her? Well, I just said to her, like, how we was all worried about her. Mrs Birch doesn't take kindly to being pitied. No, well, you can't just ignore her. I, I know, but uh, Edna's very upset at the moment. Uh, there's nothing to be gained from charging in like a bull in a china shop. I beg your pardon. I'm sure you were tact personified, but... Uh, have you thought she might just want to be left alone for a few days? And you call yourself a vicar? He's only thinking of what's best for her. Yeah, well, what about his pastoral duties? She's a proud woman. She feels responsible for what's happened. Yes, but she isn't! Yes, I know, but saying that is not going to change the way she feels. Sometimes it's best to just give people a little bit of space. Well, you won't be saying that if she does something drastic. All right, all right, all right. Um, sh she's writing up the minutes of the parish committee meeting. Maybe I'll pop round and... See if they're ready. Oh, well, don't put yourself out. Betty, believe me, I'm just as concerned for Edna as you are. You look dreadful. I don't worry about it, love. Yeah, but are you dropping dead on me? Not until I've got life insurance in place. Oh, I went out jogging every morning until a few months ago. Yeah, it's a pity you stopped. My dad's in better shape than you are. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Come here. Whoa, put him down. You don't know where he's been. Know where he's going, though. Nil-nil. So far, so good, eh, boss? Yeah, I need a drink. Uh, struggling, Dad. <coughs> the goal will come. We had an agreement. Now, let's be fair about this. Who's willing to sit out the second half so that Ali can play? Oh, I'd ask him out. No, anybody? Oh, hard luck, love. You have my place. Oh, you're doing really well. Oh, I've got a bit of a twinge in my own string. Oh, thanks, Jim. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> right, so we're all happy. Yep. <laughs> There's no wrong with your hamstring. I'm sacrificing myself for the good of the team. You're winding my mother up. Oh, sorry. Hi. I hope you realise your luck ain't gonna last forever. Sorry? We've been all over you. Surprised no one's scored yet. Yeah, well, someone's bound to sooner or later. Yep, I reckon. Oh. 
have to stop meeting like this. Oh, are we? <laughs> yeah! Oh, yes! Is that my money safe? Don't believe it! Yeah! I didn't see it! Shut up! The gold stands! Look at her! Hey, no, no, no. I can only give what I say. The goal stands. Your lad's getting a bit passionate. I don't blame him. Oi, Terry, are you blind as well as fat? That was a bit harsh. Oh, you've got to get into the spirit of things. Hey, do you fancy a sing song? What? I haven't finished them yet. No matter. I will do. I, I didn't realise they were so urgent. Oh, it isn't. I just happened to be passing. Thought I'd check. I know what a mean cup of tea you make. Did Betty send you to check up on me? No, no, of course not. Yes. Y yes, you did. We're all very concerned for you, Edna. Well, there is no need to be. Well, actually, I think there is. You're an important part of our community. People hold you in high esteem. We both know that isn't true. Oh, we're all fallible. We all make mistakes. Not that I think you've made a mistake. As you know, I don't think you have anything to reproach yourself about. We're all on your side. I am very tired, Vicar. Right. Right. I'll let you rest. Thank you. Edna, if you need to talk any time, you know where to find me. Day. I might. Marlon, we won't solve anything if you're just going to sulk. You know, um, when I was growing up, I used to dream about having a little place high on a hill, looking out across the dale. All we had for a view was an old gas furnace. I don't, I don't mean anything fancy, just, just our own little cottage, a spray of flowers round the door. A little brook babbling at the bottom of the garden. Two little tykes in South West just trying to net tadpoles. One day, eh? Yeah, but how? How? Between us, we make just enough to keep up with the bills. Nothing's going to happen unless we make it happen. I know. We've got to grab every opportunity life throws at us. I know you're right, but six months is a long time. Yeah, but is it, though? Me and you, we're for keeps. For better or worse, till death do us part. What's Six months when we've got the rest of our lives together. I hadn't thought of it like that. And there's, there's bound to be sure leave. I'll probably get home once a month. Will ya? I'll insist on it. Once a month, eh? I know it's a big sacrifice. I'll miss you, though. I'm going to miss you, too. I'll probably cry myself to sleep every night, but... I want our kids to have better than I had. Yeah, so do I. Nothing happens overnight. But just imagine, ten years from now, it could, Trish, it could, if we want it enough. But if it's that important, if it's for our babies... It's only an interview. I probably won't even get the job. Of course you will. You're the best cook this side of Skipdale. <laughs> hey. You're right, son. You're right, love. Yeah. OK. I'm OK. What did you think you were doing? Well, I tried to get out of the way. We're going too fast. No harm done. I'm, I'm fine, all right? No, I'll help you off. Look, I don't want to go off. Now, don't argue about it. Does that make that the penalty first, then? <gasps> eh? What penalty? Oh, come on, it's a professional foul, Ren. No, they, they just collided with each other. Tell them, oh, Terry. Oh, go on, take it.
curse side again. No, all right, no, the tackle went a bit reckless. Oh, Terry! But I've got to be impartial. We're well into time added on. It's going to be the last kick of the match. Yeah! yeah. Great, make it interesting, why oh, don't you? Don't panic, don't panic. Penalties are my speciality. Make a name for yourself, lad. Come on. There's rubbish on his left. Yeah, I know. Come on, Ali! Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm nothing without my lucky gloves. Yes! <laughs> Bad luck. Yeah, well, it's only a game. I suppose I owe you £100. Well, not me personally, not in general. Yeah, well, do you want to come and get it now? Now? Yeah, no time like the person. Checkbooks in the pub. Come Yeah, okay. Emily Love, in what way is this cream clotted? Oh, it isn't, it's whipped. Precisely. Then why on the menu does it say it's clotted? They're being creative again, I expect. We're all out. We're looking to get cream teas, cos those at last gone. Ah, oh, it tastes like they might be. You know, you're not obliged to eat here, Mrs Eggleton. I beg your pardon? I've been run off my feet all afternoon. What we ramblers, folk coming to watch football, and Mrs Oak thinking it were a good day to go to some else bar in Arrogate. I only have so much patience, you know. So do I, madam. I'll bring you some extra jam. Extra jam? How's extra jam gonna solve the problem? Oh, hello, Edna Lowe. This is for you. The minutes. Ah! Sit yourself down, Edna. Hey, hey, do you fancy a scone? I'm afraid the cream's very far from clotted. I'm not stopping. I've been doing some thinking. And I feel that it would be best for all concerned if I were to resign my seat on the parish committee. You can't. I won't allow it. I was placed in a position of trust. And I allowed that trust to be abused. Sit down. Let's talk about this. Talking won't change anything. This is the only honourable course of action open to me. Please tell the committee that I'm very sorry for the trouble I've caused. Was that drastic enough for you? What do you reckon? You're really good with words. It's odd, though, you going off on an adventure and me not being part of it. Well, your job's to stay and make sure Alan doesn't rent out our cottage. Yeah. And I suppose I had my fill of adventure when I was in Brighton. There's no place like home, that's what I reckon. You're OK about all this, aren't you? Yeah. It's like Grandad says. Can't always have jam today. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids do you reckon we'll have? Oh, hundreds and thousands. <laughs> well, four would do me. Only four? <laughs> yeah. Three boys and a girl. I suppose you know the names as well. Oh, got a few ideas. <laughs> I love you. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ta. Sounds busy, isn't it? Don't get me started. We should join our sorrows with a proper drink. I've got revision and an essay to write. Yeah, you've got plenty of time for that. Seven weeks. One day off's not gone away, is it? Danny, these exams are important to me. I'll come on with you, then. You don't have to. No, I want to. I, mean, I know I don't know a lot about Shakespeare and all that, but I can help you with your quotes, test you, stuff like that. Thank you. Come on. There you go. Thanks. Listen. Sorry if I roughed you up a bit on the pitch. That's OK. I gave as good as I got. Keep still. What? You 
You took your time. Oh, worth the wait. Oi, Bob. You should be behind the bar. I'm trying to keep a low profile. But me and mine are both now. Okay. You should go. Right. So I'm a bit tiddly. Tiddly? What? I didn't know people said that anymore. Are you mocking me? Sorry. <laughs> Truth is, I'm a bit squiffy myself. <laughs> did you the go, Mom? <gasps> yes, I did. You're my hero, my sweet little hero. <gasps> I could eat you up. Mm. Mom, you're drunk. No, she's not. She's tiddly. Squiffy. I'm glad it even. <laughs> I think you might be right. <gasps> you're a bad influence, you are. I like to think so. <laughs> Good day's work, I'm sure you'll agree. Oh, who gave you that? Louise. Oh, that was very nice of her. Yeah, pity everyone else is not so generous. Right, pants it, Terry. Yeah, make sure you don't drop it. <laughs> very droll. I'm surprised you're still standing. You and me both. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, have a heart. He gave you that dodgy goal. Oh, yes, the hand of God, eh? Maradona's got nothing in my dawn. What, are you saying that you deliberately cheated? You can take the moral high ground, Terry, but you are not taking the facts. OK, everyone, before we all get ourselves well and truly tiddled, <laughs> which I'm reliably informed is a tradition on these occasions, it gives me great pleasure to present the Emmerdale Easter Trophy to our worthy winners, the mighty Marsdens and Scott Athletic. <laughs> Tally, he won it for you. Can't be denied. Best team won, I'm afraid. I know, annoying, isn't it? They're a nice lot, them Marstons. I had a long chat with Frances. I like her. She's a nice one. Yeah, she was very pleasant. Hey, there's people dying of thirst in here. 